how did I fish the spinnerbait at the Classic? Um, let me give you a little bit about you know my setup itself. Um, I used a, it's a rod by Lamaglass, it's an XC704J, it's basically a seven foot medium action. Uh, I used 50 pound spider wire, and I didn't use my Skeet Reese Revo, I used a Revo winch. Uh, it's a slow speed reel, it's a five to one gear ratio. One of the very key components to fish in the spinnerbait. Um, and I'm gonna get into all that. The type of cover I was fishing was, uh, it was lily pad stems uh, because everything, you know, all the pads die off in the wintertime, but all the little stobs, the little stems are sticking out of the water still. And I was trying to find a combination of lily pad stems with stumps. So if you can find that uh, combination mixed in together, uh, a lot of these fish were pre-spawned, staging up there. They may, get, they may have been getting ready to spawn around those stumps, but that was the whole key. Now, as far as fishing it, um, it was a slow roll presentation. That's when I was using a Revo. Uh, I would just fire it up there. And if I was using a high speed reel, uh, say my Skeet Reese Revo, which is a 6.4 to 1, and I do a normal, I think I'm still doing a slow retrieve, my spinner bait would rise up from the water column too much. And I'm still reeling it fast. So a little trick to force myself to make sure I'm fishing the redemption a lot slower is to use that winch, the Revo winch. It's a 5, four to, or five to 1 gear ratio. So even if I feel like I'm reeling a normal retrieve, the bait's moving slow. And it's a little tip for you at home. If you have a hard time slow rolling a spinner bait, make sure you get a five to one gear ratio and it forces you to fish that spinner bait slower. You can reel fast, but the bait ain't going anywhere. So, and I really think that was one of the keys is that I was crawling that spinner bait through the lily pad stems and everything. Now the reason I use a spider wire, um, any of you that have ever fished around grass and, and reeds and tules and stuff like that, you'll know that if you're fishing monofilament or fluorocarbon and you hook fish in that stuff, they can wrap you around it really easy. Uh, and I've lost way too many fish in these situations over the years. I went to 50 pound spider wire. The reason I did that is when I hooked a fish back into pad stems and he started cutting across and wrapping around all the pad stems, the spider wire, I could just cut right through stuff and I could just rip right through the lily pad stems. Uh, absolute huge key component to that technique. So if you're at home and you've got all the, the, the reed stems and grasses and things like that, try fishing a spinner bait on, on spider wire. I've talked a lot in the years past about fishing the LV100 and the LV500 on, fiberglass, or on spider wire. Spinner bait's no difference. You get around that kind of, uh, that type of cover. It's going to help you put a lot more fish in the boat, but that was that was definitely the setup. Um, just getting that bait, uh, just firing up into the pad stems around stumps. A foot, and, I'd say a foot and a half to about four foot of water uh, is where I caught the majority of my fish. Uh, but just slow rolling that thing down there, and this little thing would just bounce off the lily pad stems, and and it seems like as soon as I would come off and I'd bounce off a stump uh, that was mixed surrounded by pad stems. <laughs> it got crushed, and uh, uh, it was interesting. Is uh, the first day of the tournament when I got a spinnerbait bite, I, they actually jerked the rod out of the hand. By the last day of the tournament, the water temperature had dropped almost nine degrees where I was fishing, and I just would slow roll, and I could feel them just kind of grab the bait. Not really. I mean, they wouldn't slam it. They would grab the bait and just kind of roll with it. And I, I would not set the hook right away. I would let them run with it and then pull back on them. Um, where I didn't have to do that the first day. So just that was, you know, conditions changed. Um, the presentation didn't stay, you know, that stayed the same every day, just a nice slow roll presentation. But uh, that was the only thing I had to change that last day. I had to let them eat a little bit longer before I pulled back on them. So that's how I did it. That's how I won the Bassmasters Classic with the Redemption Spinnerbait.